come up. Uh, uh, so while you have the the one footage, you know that that's pretty much like the only piece of physical evidence. If, if, um, you can call that that uh, that you have. One of the other ideas uh, that I've seen floating around is about that footage is perhaps that what they showed Chartle or what Chartle saw, like it, it kind of is like, I saw a UFO, like I saw something, I saw footage of this. Now, it, discounting the alien thing and just the one, the, the entire thing about the aliens, because you, you can't really say anything. Like if he's, you know, if he saw that, we none of us have seen that footage, but the, what we have seen. Um, it could also be uh, a footage of uh, perhaps a testing of uh, one of the inventions of one Paul Mahler. Uh, Paul Mahler was the invention uh, or was the inventor of the, the Disco Jet project in 1974, which he had been. Disco Jet? Disco Jet. Sounds fucking. Sounds, sounds pretty sounds fucking awesome. Cool. Sounds awesome. Um, Paul Mahler. Sounds um, like a good time. He was an inventor who had been working on, uh, you know, flying saucer projects since the 60s. He had been working on, there, there's one, um, you can pull up pictures if you want, there's one called the M200G Volantor, um, which is basically, I mean, just to describe it, uh, is that it is a flying saucer. It's got the little tail off the end. It's got a little bubble in the, t in the middle, and then around it is a bunch of just like, you know, vertical fans, uh, jet fans that, you know, would allow it to, you know, potentially, at least from just looking at the design to move, you know, take lift off and, and lift off and land um, vertically and then, you know, move around as it was. But he he's known to have, you know, put out these designs since the 60s and the Air Force is known to, if not, you know, not this one, but like things like the Avro car, like the Avro car, you yeah. know, the, this is the X uh, project X 27. I can't remember the designation, but it's like, that was, you know, that was a Canadian project, Canadian U S project. Yeah, damn right. Uh, it was the little Avro car um, that this footage potentially could have been something like that. Like you're just kidding. Cause all of these are all silver. They're all whatever. If you're sh shot from that mm -hmm. far out, that's the only thing that kind of, it's like, I I'm bummed that we can't see the close up footage, but from this, it's like, it also could just be one of those. So it doesn't, you know, if somebody saw this, that this is definitely, uh, the way that it moves is something that isn't possible. This is something that I would point at and be like, no, it, it probably could be. I've done. Um, uh, you, you have the inventions of Paul Muller and the stuff like the Avro car uh, that existed. I don't think the, I don't know when the years of the Avro car, but Paul Muller had been working on projects like this since the 60s. Yeah. So it wouldn't be that far out to uh, posit that as a possible explanation. Um, well, yeah, I mean, that is one of the main theory even about modern ufos is the is advanced aircraft maybe out of a whole different field of physics that has been released it's military only right. first and it's like and they fly these crafts these drones these hypersonic drones can go from zero to fifty thousand feet and a few like crazy stuff right. that's impossible that we think would be impossible they have it and, and then 20 years we're like it was actually <laughs> this drone program from russia yeah, and and you know even the like watching that footage for me is like it doesn't it doesn't do anything it doesn't have any five observables that we talk about every now and then like it doesn't it doesn't display any qualities that I would be like this is totally impossible for human technology it kind of just goes from up to down it doesn't like move around you know sudden stops you know seeming to just by well, all accounts all it was not things. flying well like they <laughs> like the accounts are like something was wrong with it which is right, like, like that's I, the, I, the, from the are like ah, it was coming down because it's something's wrong like it's not good and from the descriptions of most of the the flights uh the test flights of the avro car and like those flying disc projects like i've seen some of those old videos of those flying those saucer craft and i've heard that i've read some of the accounts of like the actual test flights and like they're they're like it's right it's like riding a cyclone like a bunky brocco inside of a tornado like it's just like it's just going all over the place and you can't keep it straight because all the gyroscopes are working fucking overtime to keep it from flipping over <laughs> um so yeah if you like if you were to say like yeah i saw this and you know i saw this craft kind of flipping all over the place i'd be like yeah it, it, those things didn't work really good <laughs> but um, again, that's just saying from that one piece of footage, but, um, you know, uh, Shardle's pulling from his memory of the complete footage that he says he saw that, um, includes the, a close up of this craft showing these extraterrestrials, um, exiting the craft and meeting with officials there on the tarmac, I suppose. If that video exists, that's it. That's all we need. Just that video of the slow ramp with the smoke and the ET stepping through. And the whole, it also uh, seems weird like it's like they're like, yeah it's a theatrical like you know even it, when they offered him the explanation they're like it's a theatrical 
uh, production that they were making for their own documentary for there, there are a lot of questions just for that to be like, okay, so like, who are the actors? Like who, you know, who did the camera work? Like there should be all of this kind of documentation about this thing. <laughs> who crafted this special effects prop of this entire craft with the, uh, with the extending, like, like that takes prop work. That takes actual yeah, effort to, to, to make something to look like that. Um, you know, you could probably find out who made the the ship from the day the Earth stood still, because that's what this reminds me of—the whole, uh, you know, the sliding doors opening and then a extending yeah. out, uh, you know, walkway. Um, sounds all very, you know, day the Earth stood still. Clatu brought a nicto. Like, <laughs> it's cool though. It is cool. If it exists, it's cool. If you have the footage. And you've been sitting on it this whole time. You've inherited you or from somebody grandpa. you know yeah. has the footage. <laughs> Please send it to alientheorist at yeah. gmail.com. Do you have any more information <laughs> about this unsolved mystery? <laughs> I mean, mystery. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, let us know. All, all our socials, shoot us a message. We've got, got something wrong. you got a, a distant relative who worked on the project. you got some inside information. We won't even say your name. Just, tell, just let yeah. us know. No, and we want to know what you think. If you've if you've seen the documentary UFO Past, Present, Future, now we've told you a little about a little bit about the backstory. Like, do you think there's something more? Do you think there's 3,200 feet of footage? Do you think these guys were useful idiots for the government? Do you think this was pulled because of the Watergate? What do you think? We want to know what you think. What happened? Right? Let's uh, let's get theorizing. Okay, so find us on our social socials. We're posting about this social. We're about the socials all week. Uh, comment on there. Let us know. Let's start a discussion. Fuck yeah! All right, let's. Um, we've kind of moved away from theory over the week, but that doesn't mean. What do you mean? You, what do you mean we moved away? I was kind of thinking of somebody. We didn't do one okay. week, and that doesn't mean we moved away from it. I think I got somebody for this week. Well, I, I mean, think Zell I showed has you. Somebody. I showed you exactly he, who I Zell had. Zell literally but. told us <laughs> who it was going to yeah. be. When did you do? Was I here? Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you want two? We can do two. Okay. Double up. Let's do two. Oh, because we didn't give one last week. Two. So we'll sure. double up. Make it up. All right. Sure. Yeah, let's double up. Okay, Andrew, go first. Who, is he good? Who do you got? We don't know. It's a mystery. Holy fuck. Boys, the CTE is going fucking crazy. I have no... I don't remember that conversation. You sure I was, didn't go upstairs or something like that while you did that? No, you no, were here. You're, you're definitely there. As soon as he starts talking about it, you're going to go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. bro. And I want you to say that. As soon as Zell starts talking about it, I want you to go, oh, yeah. You could see it in my face. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this yeah, this week's theory of the week or co-theory of the week. Theory, right? I was thinking we'd give it to uh, Freya and the entire Milbank clan. Congratulations. Oh, another yeah. member of the yeah. family. Yeah. I couldn't think of cooler Expanding parents. Out the Milbank oh, army. Imagine having a dad as a fucking rock star. The child yeah, is pretty cool. Yeah, I feel so bad because I, I was messaging. I was I was messaging him, and I was like, "It's like, man, I'm so sad. It's such so unfortunate that Freya's first fucking Packers game is gonna be a loss to the Lions, and then the Lions did in fact kick the shit." Out of the Packers. <laughs> it, it's funny because <laughs> like, it he, Jason was posting pictures of his baby. There's a couple where he's posting where it's like, "There is absolutely no question that's his baby. Looks just like him, <laughs> making the same face." Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, let's yeah, just like that's him. awesome. Hell yeah, that's awesome. a yeah. Congrats, congratulations, congratulations. Yeah. Good addition, good addition, yeah. Andrew. Good addition, Andrew. That's a good yeah. addition. Hundred percent a good addition. Cheers, Milbank. And the other theory of the week have to has to remain slightly anonymous because they said in this fully written letter, that letter. That oh, printed yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Where was I? I must have been somewhere else. I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I remember you saying. Theory. I just remember you showing it and being like, "Oh, that's fucking cool." But I don't like blanked yeah. on that. Yeah. Anyways, oh, yeah. this this CT is real. This theory, cool theory of the week is or was. I cannot say for certain because of got to keep his identity a secret. But a medic in the Canadian military in a special forces unit. And he says in his letter. He says. Oh, I get everyone says I'm ex special forces, blah, blah. So I s sent you boys four of my unit coins, which I didn't even know was a thing. Mm -hmm. So he sent, he sent four coins. I can't tell you exactly what the unit is, but you know who you are who sent this, sent this in. Yeah, and you're a badass. That's yeah. who you are. And you know what? We don't do this often, but because you typed it in this perfectly written letter, perfectly spell checked and edited, a shout out to your friend, Steve the Firefighter. 
Woo, you, me- who, you mentioned a few times, you better fucking give a shout out to Steve the Firefighter. So we can call out Steve the Firefighter, but we can't call it the actual theory of the week who gave us these dope ass coins. But we know who you are and we appreciate it. Yeah, this theory of the week is is being accepted by Steve the Firefighter. So congratulations, Steve the Firefighter. Yeah, in honor. <laughs> in honor yeah. Steve the Firefighter will fact, accept your theory of the week. Cousins with Steve the Pirate. And we thank you for your service. Fuck yeah. All right, and if you're not supporting the show and you want early access to all listen! of the Listen! Fuck, how many, how many episodes are you going to listen for free? Come on. All right, you listen to this? Come on, five bucks. Right, come on. We get, you get 100 hours, you get Dungeons and Dragons, you get tons of other shit. Five bucks is all you need. You give it a, it's not even you're not even donating it's literally a trade trade us you got an empty hey you got an empty cup you can shake at them with that toque and the sweater it's pretty good the beard. yeah <laughs> pretty yeah get your money dilated pupils look like you know you just <laughs> yeah it look pretty good <laughs> right. a little, little, twitch little, little red in the face <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's good come huh? on it's have a brush <laughs> yeah we need exactly. some rear support Listen to Brayden, um, head to AlienTheorist.com Hit the support tab, Patreon, the Supercast Support Brayden's rehab Yeah <laughs> Get Brayden back on uh, the right track here I've Alien been one minute sober Boom This week's newer supporters Trigun77 you not support. <laughs> Joseph Branston Raymond Wyatt Halliday Ruben And Alexander K. Or K. Is there a question mark at the end, or you just don't know how to say? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, I think it's K. Alexander K. Thank you very much for supporting the show. And the rest of y'all, if you're thinking, oh, someone else to support, well, listen. The last couple of months, they haven't been. So you better get off your ass and help support the show. It's independent. <laughs> we need your help. Uh, even if you, if you, you know, if you're Spotify, you might want to jump on Supercast. Now we get defeat on Spotify. Uh, if you're looking for other ways to support the show, we have uh, PayPal. Do we have PayPal attached to AlienTheorist.com? Yes, you can donate through Supercast as well. But yeah, it's all yeah. on. Yeah, donate through Supercast, or you know, if you're like, I don't want to do any of that, head to head to our merch store. Go to AlienTheorist.com, buy some merch. Right, all of that supports the show. You got, you got slurry. super yeah, dicks. Got the slurry. words are all combined. I have. We got that. Anyways, if you understood Brayden. Guys, on the skies. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these in broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.